Greetings from Tokyo, Japan. This is my 50th country. Really excited to be here. It's been on my bucket list for most of my life. Um, today I'm going to be exploring the city. Uh, it's a beautiful day. My first stop is the uh, Tsukiji um, Outer Market. I know I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. Uh, I'm going to head to the subway now and it should be a short ride from there. Pretty cool, my hotel is kind of in this quiet area of Tokyo. I mean, quiet is a relative term in Tokyo, but you can see not a lot of people out here and I'm really kind of in the heart of Tokyo. It's kind of walking around, it's cool. There's busy areas and there's kind of quiet back streets and quiet areas, so it's been interesting just to explore and uh, walk around on my own. And uh, one interesting thing about uh, Tokyo is pretty much no one jaywalks here. I'm kind of, kind of on this um, quiet intersection. I could easily cross the street right now, but I've seen maybe one or two people like jaywalk, whereas in New York, people would just be running across right about now and then nothing would stop them, but so interesting to know. So the subway is pretty easy to use. I pay with a Suica card that you can use on your iPhone or Android. Uh, you can also get a physical card. There's like a 500 yen deposit, but it's pretty easy. Just use the card. Uh, this way you can charge with your credit card. Um, if you get the physical card, you have to use uh, actual currency, uh, but that just takes the correct amount off. So it takes kind of the guesswork out of the fare. So very cool, very efficient. Very easy. <laughs> and you can also buy the pass, the physical card here at any uh, train station or subway station or a ticket booth there if you prefer to do it that way. station and head the right way to the market hopefully. We all made it. One thing to keep in mind here is uh, everyone wears, wears masks indoors, outdoors. I've kind of compromised. I don't wear mine outdoors but I wear it indoors but like 99% wear it all the time. Well I made it to the market as you can see it's extremely crowded. I made the mistake of coming on a Saturday. I kind of lose track of the days when I travel, but it's a beautiful day out on a weekend and everybody is here. I'm gonna try to get some to eat, but there's lots of big lines everywhere. Yeah, every restaurant has a super long line. I'll we'll see if I can get something to eat. Keep hoping I can get off the beaten track, but there's huge lines everywhere. into a little uh, indoor fish market here that's pretty cool very pungent fish smell but one good thing about wearing the mask cover some of that up Well, 
that was kind of a bust. I'm gonna blame that on my own poor planning. Uh, probably should come in a weekday or come earlier. I got here at 11.30, I thought it would be fine, but either need a reservation to the restaurant or there was a, like an hour long line. So I'm gonna head to my next stop, hopefully get some to eat there. So I finally found this uh, cool food court. They had some good looking food and long lines, but not too long. So I got, not sure what it is, but it looks pretty good and a beer. Ooh, wow, really good. Good choice. <laughs> So my next stop is the uh, Tokyo Sky Tree here behind me. You can see, whoa, <laughs> looks high up there. It's really busy around here, so I'm hoping the wait's not too long, but I've discovered kind of everything takes a long time in Tokyo. to the um, 350 meter level, level. There's also a 450 meter uh, level. It costs extra money. I thought this is good enough. This is crowded enough as it is. It is pretty incredible views. You can see it goes on for miles and miles way past the horizon. Well, I made it back down from the sky tree. Uh, it was about $15 to get up there. Real crowded, real kind of hot and sweaty. I probably wouldn't recommend it, especially on a Saturday. I think I'm going to title this video, Don't uh, Travel to Tokyo on a Saturday, because it's been really hard to do anything. Just huge lines are not one of my favorite things. But I think I'm done with uh, big viewpoint buildings, too. I did the Burj Khalif in Dubai. That was amazing. But and this was pretty cool. You know, it's amazing to see Tokyo just goes on and on and on forever. But, I don't know, maybe I'll come back someday on a weekday. <laughs> and heading off to my final stop of the day, the Akihabara District in Japan. I'm gonna hop on the subway again, head over there. Well, I took a short subway ride. I'm walking to the Akihabara District. Uh, it's a little quieter here, a little less crowded, which is nice after massive, massive crowds on the weekend. Ooh, nice to have a little peace and quiet. There aren't a lot of quiet areas in Tokyo, but their places are definitely busier than others. And one cool thing is, um, there, of course, there's vending machines everywhere in Tokyo, but your uh, subway card, your Suica card, can also be used to pay for a lot of these vending machines. So let's see. Hit a number. Pretty cool, it just deducts it right out of your off your card and you have a cold drink on a hot day. Uh, the one downside to this is uh, Tokyo has almost no uh, public trash cans. You're expected to carry this with you and bring it home. So occasionally I've just gone to like McDonald's and thrown it away because I don't have any way to carry it. But it's kind of a pain in the butt if you're a tourist, but as a local, you're just expected to bring it home, throw it in your own trash. So it seems to work pretty well. It's an extremely clean city. Well, as soon as I said that, I found a little uh, garbage recycling can, so I think I'm going to finish this up real quick before I walk any farther so I don't have to carry this too far. I really 
love these uh, plastic uh, meals they make to show what the meals are like. They're so detailed, actually look very tasty. <laughs> There's nothing really like this in America. Here's a big kind of industry that a company that makes a lot of these. central area for uh, anime, uh, video games, and play, like maid cafes, things like that. Kind of a cool young area. So I'm gonna uh, walk around a little bit and explore it. And as you can see, as I said earlier, almost everyone is wearing masks, like 99%, even outside. I chose not to, but <laughs> inside I do, and then outside I don't, but you can see it's pretty ubiquitous. You can see all kinds of uh, electronics and lots of random stuff, tools, pliers. Not sure what those are. <laughs> That gives you a brief glimpse of uh, Akihabara. Uh, I'm gonna head back to my hotel. I'm pretty tired, uh, very crowded today. I mean, Tokyo is always crowded, but today was especially crowded. So it wasn't out that long, but definitely made me very tired. Um, so I'm gonna head back. Uh, tomorrow I head for uh, Kyoto. So I've got lots more adventures planned. So I hope you join me.